Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're teaching coding with apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin, and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge, and today we're talking about teaching coding. Now, coding sounds scary, and for some people it is, but coding is becoming one of the essentials for kids to be able to function uh, in schools and outside of schools. And understanding coding, even if you don't become a software engineer, is learning a new way of thinking and a new way that our devices work. So I'm going to introduce a few great apps that teach some of the principles of coding. And the first one I want to talk about is called Hopscotch. And in Hopscotch, actually in most of these apps, what you do is you have a character of some sort or a machine that you need to move around and make do things. So we can, you can look, for example, at a, a program I created. So what you have now is a series of possible commands and then you can add to them as much as you want and when once you're done you can see the character move around so we chose that character and then we can you can see that uh, when the play button is tapped they rotate we started with rotating degrees and you can for example change that to rotate 90 degrees and you enter then you can add another order here setting speed to a, a certain uh, a certain size then you can leave a trail and you can see this is already a subroutine and inside that subroutine you've got to create a uh, something like a uh, let's move for example and finally we can set the line color that will be the trail and you can change the color and let's make it uh, green and now if you want to see what happens you can see that that was the program I created now the programs can become more and more complicated as time goes on so you can add routines that repeat themselves you can create a very long sequence or a short sequence and kids immediately see what happens and as a result of being able to see what happens they can actually fix this so let's say we want to set the line color to be something different we just do this and then we can also add um, another rotation right here so we rotate by another 30 degrees and then we will a, add a repeat so we will actually try and drag this into the repeat and see what happens if we do that and here's our creature and it's disappearing out of the uh, picture because I chose the wrong direction which is a great way to look at how a uh, students can figure out the directions and figure out how to make it do what they want it to do. So I changed the rotation and now we've created a square. So this one is called Hopscotch. The next app I want to show you is called CargoBot. And CargoBot is somewhat different from Hopscotch and a few of the others. In CargoBot you actually manipulate a device and there's a target action that has to happen so in this case the focus is within a system that is very constrained by what you can do how can you make a program how can you code a way to get to exactly your destination so you can see that this is a starting position you've got a crane that can move and you can order it around and then there's an ending position and the trick is how can I make this crane get to this shape as efficiently as possible and the piece that I really like here is that efficiency really does matter so you get more stars or more points if you do this efficiently and in this case you can watch a program uh, I've created in it it takes one box 
tries to take another and if it tries to go outside it breaks down. Obviously that program doesn't go and the way this one works is initially it's very simple to create because you have a series of actions that you can just repeat but as things get more complicated you are actually forced to make more complicated subroutines that activate each other and so you actually can say and let me just reset the whole thing right now to get the box I first need to get an arrow that goes down and then it needs to go one two three four five steps this way so four five and one step down and then it needs to go all the way back so I need to have five steps going the other way and the toolbox actually gets more complicated as things go on so now I've got two routines uh, program two which is carrying this way and program three which is carrying back and now I can alternate those and you can see that if I alternate them this should work if I got my programming right let's see and you can see that it's just follows and you can actually see what command it's on which is a very nice feature that way kids can know exactly what's going on and we can if we wanted now we saw that it's working I think this would finish the whole program so this gives very specific tasks and uh, the system is very constrained as to how many things you can actually do but uh, on the other hand there's a series of more and more complicated tasks that really put a foundation into the ideas behind coding and how you work and make sure that it does what you want so this one is called CargoBot uh, the next one I want to show you is called uh, Hakitsu in this app what you do is you have robots that you're supposed to manipulate and you have tasks within the idea of a bell and I can show you a, one of those so you get an arena and you get robots you get at the beginning one and then as things develop more than that and what you're supposed to do is create a program that will help you win the battle by ordering your robots around the different actions they can do and you can see you can move you can change direction you can aim missiles and you can actually hit in this one what you have is you have action points so you're limited in the way that you can activate the different functions and that forces you to think about being very efficient with your programming or you're going to run out of action points before you are actually able to execute the program and what I like about this is this has a script that's very a uh, that's closer to the idea of coding from a command perspective so you can tell this one okay I want to move right here so you do that by touch but then you can see that the command is actually written out in a script which brings us closer to the way coding is actually done in the real world at least at this point and then you can add a, an action like I want to fire a rocket and now we can execute despite the fact that we haven't finished the whole program and that's fine because I'm here just to show you an example so now you can see the program floats above which is a nice way to look at it again another way to illustrate how the program is interacting with the actions and then we can see the character actually going through the, uh, the things we told it to do and the impact it has obviously this is not done mostly because uh, we didn't do everything it'll tell you that the challenge is failed and it'll tell you also how efficient it is by the number of stars that you have to do again the tasks obviously get more complicated as you go on so today we talked about three fantastic apps that help kids start thinking about coding and ways of thinking about them it's not the idea that you want kids to start by writing programs per se with a classic script actually the idea is for them to get the habits of mind the way of thinking about coding and code and do it in a fun engaging way and all three apps do that very well 
and we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.